Look how fun! Oh my god, so fun. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. We're back. It's Tasty Tuesday 2.0. We're here and we're still insanely sexy. I hope that you and your boner can handle that. It's St. Patrick's Day week. For those of you who celebrate, I had to explain what St. Patrick's Day was to a couple people that were from different countries uh, at the poker table the other day. We're celebrating Irish, Irish people and Ireland. We wear green and there's leprechauns with gold. I don't, I don't know. It's special and we love it. And I wanted to do something festive for St. Patrick's Day and I had a potato recipe all ready to go. But then I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across this bread that is green, but it's not dyed green, like how you dye beer green around St. Patrick's Day. It's that way naturally through science and reactions chemically with the ingredients that you use. And I thought that was so crazy. So we're doing that because I have to know if it works, one. Two, I had all the ingredients already in my kitchen. Three, I think it's really funny that the second Tasty Tuesday back, we're making bread again. Like I a little bit want to just make bread every single time just to see the look on Steve's face. That's not what I had intended to do here on Tasty Tuesday 2.0. But like what if every Tasty Tuesday 2.0 was, was just bread? Just like every week it's bread. That just would really tickle me inside to just see Steve's face every time. Sleep on it. Think about it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Anyway, this recipe is from Lil Sipper on Instagram. I'll put her info in the description. It's only four ingredients. And I thought it would just be like a fun experiment to do. If you have kids, they might think it's really cool that the bread turned green naturally without being moldy. And if it doesn't turn green, then they'll just think you're weird. And either way, I think that I'm okay with those outcomes. So without further ado, get your green on and let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna take a mixing bowl. This one is from my sand mixer and you're gonna do some tricks with it, like this. Cause this is Tasty Tuesday 2.0 and it's advanced. If you're a beginner, go watch the old ones. This is advanced stuff only. The four ingredients that we're gonna be using are apple cider vinegar, eggs or egg replacer, whichever you prefer. The original recipe uses regular eggs, baking soda, and sun butter. It has to be sunflower butter, like just natural organic sunflower seed butter because that's where the science comes in. So something in this reacts with, th with these, I don't really know but it makes chlorophyll, let me, read, let me read it. So the baking soda reacts with the chlorophyll in sunflower seeds, which, which like it naturally is in sunflower seeds. Hello, Tom. My sous chef Tom is here. And it creates a reaction known as chlorogenic quinone amino acid greening, which transforms the bread into a blue green pigment. And it gets more green a few hours after baking too. I'm gonna link this uh, post for you to follow along if you want to. So it's really hella sciencey. Like I said, we're really advanced and not a lot of people can handle it. So step one, we're gonna take a teaspoon of baking soda. Tom, you wanna inspect the baking soda, please? Thank you. And a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And we're gonna let it fizz, cause it's fun. Look how fun! Oh my God, it's so fun. When I was a kid, I just thought this shit was so fun. I know people like make volcanoes and stuff for their science fair projects. I didn't do anything that fancy. I just straight up baking soda and vinegar. Hell yeah, what a party. Okay, so let's let that fizz a little bit. And okay, then we're gonna add four eggs. And since we're not using real eggs in our version, um, we're gonna use egg replacer. And the way that you use that is, it's a tablespoon of egg replacer and then two tablespoons of water, I believe, for every egg. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of egg replace, eight tablespoons of water, cause math. If I got those measurements wrong, the yolk's on me. <laughs> but not because it's not real eggs, Tom. I think you're actually supposed to make these eggs beforehand, but I forgot. It's been a while. This may not be exactly the right ratio of ingredients. Isn't this egg exciting? <laughs> You missed me, didn't you? Okay, once your egg replacement mixture is gelatinous, such as an egg might be, um, we're gonna add it to our bowl. Cool, did that. Dude, we're crushing it. All right, then we're gonna take this and we're either gonna use an electric mixer or a stand mixer. 
I'm gonna opt for the stand mixer because this is the stand mixer bowl. But you do whatever you want. I'm not your boss. And it says to let this whisk until our eggs are nice and fluffy. So mine's a little chunky. I think because I used egg replacer instead of egg. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna attempt to de-chunkify it a little bit. Okay, I think I got it as de-chunkified as I can. Um, that's the technical term for what we're doing. Again, this is advanced, so. So after de-chunkifying the egg replacer and this mixture thing, um, we're gonna add our sun butter. Again, it has to be sunflower butter. Do not try to use almond butter or peanut butter. It's not gonna turn green, okay? That's not science. And we're using one whole cup of it. A whole ass cup of sunflower seed butter. Have you ever handled that much? I haven't. I actually bought sunflower butter at our old place and it just sat in my cupboard for like eight months and I never used it and then I gave it away before we moved. And then I bought it again and I was like, I'm gonna make something with it. So I'm very excited to actually use this. This is also good if you have like any nut allergies. Like if you're allergic to all these nuts. <laughs> Calm down, then this might work for you. Also, you might like tahini, which is a sesame seed butter. Just gonna mix these oils. Oh, nice sounds. Are you listening to this? Oh, now you're, oh, now you're shy. Okay, well, it's not making the sounds anymore. So now I guess we have to act like grownups. You were farting, Just don't lie. This is almost the whole jar. Okay, dude, that tastes like peanut butter. I mean, kind of. I mean, if you're like a peanut butter connoisseur, maybe it doesn't taste like peanut butter, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna add this to our mixture. Oh, this is sticky. That's what she said. Get it, get it. Uh, uh. Okay, we're adding this, but it says not to over whip. So just don't over whip. All you doms out there, I see you. No over whipping. Okay, so I tried to get it as close to looking like hers as possible. It just basically kind of just looks like peanut butter. Also, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I forgot to tell you to do that because I knew that you were like so advanced, you probably already knew to do that. And that's why I didn't tell you. So good luck, all you noobs that don't know how to preheat ovens. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. Read a book. So now we're gonna take our loaf pan and we're just gonna parchment paper her right on up, just like authentic Irish people do. Oh, I think I made my parchment paper too short, um, but only because I wanted to show you what not to do. All you noobs, freaking noobs, like don't make it too short. Maybe this is the right size. I'm crushing it. Here we go. Pour it in there. This is a little thicker than hers was in the video. I'm concerned. Mayhaps you will have better luck with actual eggs. I don't have those. So check this out. B-roll, are you are you like okay? Do you need to talk? Hers kind of poured more more smoothly than mine did. I hope the bread still turns green. That's really all I care about. This looks bad. This is not looking good. Maybe it doesn't have to be a rectangle shape. We might have some odd shaped bread if it even turns into bread. I'm not very confident at this point. We might have to switch over to the potato recipe. We're gonna bake this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Sorry, my microphone fell. Okay. Oh, set a timer for 30 minutes. I'll bleep her name so it doesn't set off your Alexa. Except for this. Alexa, what is St. Patrick's Day? All right, so now you know. You're welcome. See you in 30 minutes. Okay, hi, it's been 30 minutes and I just took this out of the oven and holy shit, it is green. I thought that when I was taking it out of the oven that I burned it, but no, it's not burned, it's green. It's actually green. Like what the heck? Science is cool. What I did not read beforehand before starting this recipe once again is that it will need a three hour cooling time. Yes, and currently it is midnight o'clock. So we will be putting this in the refrigerator and letting it cool overnight. And supposedly it turns even more green. And then we'll have the Tasty Tuesday Man try it in the morning and we will see his beautiful face when he sees what we made and I'm sure he will love it. See you in the morning. Hello, good morning. It's actually afternoon because daylight savings time is a hell of a drug, but you don't know that. Anyway, our bread has been uh, cooling all night in the refrigerator and it's time to taste. I must say, this is the sexiest bread I've ever made in my life. It is indeed green, but is it tasty? We'll find out from Mr. Green if it's tasty and green. Daylight saving time is a hell of a drug. Let's see if it's tasty. It is much softer than the brioche bread that we made. Look at that. 
Does that not scream St. Patrick's Day? I think we done good. Hello, happy St. Patrick's Day happy week. Happy St. Patrick's Day as well. You're my favorite green. You are mine. Aw. Yeah. That was a good answer. Thank you. I made bread. Yeah, so what's what's the story? This does not look good. That, what? Well, how dare you? Rude. First of all, I slaved away over this mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Yeah. Like a woman should. So uh, you like science, right? Yes. Whoa, that smells nuts. It's actually seeds. There are no nuts involved. Do I have to eat this? Yes, you must tell us if it's tasty. I'm dying to know. Have you tried this yet? I have not tried it yet. It's really wet. <laughs> You know what? I didn't see if it passed the toothpick test, which I was supposed to do when I took it out of the oven. Nobody would ever call it dry. <laughs> it's a drink. It's like a drink. The brioche bread was kind of dry, huh? Yes, it was. But this, this is not. But the green bread, not. This, you could pour it into a glass. So in like Goldilocks, uh, it's like this, this wet bread's too wet. This bread's too dry. Next week, it'll be just right. Listen to me. Yes. This is not tasty. Oh my god, really? You're not- Straight up. You're gonna fail it? This is a fail. It's not? Now I have to try it. As this is like to you. a nice bread you could have for breakfast if you have allergies to gluten or there you nut go. allergies. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh really? Just describe the wonderful flavors. The thing about it is it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? It's so good that you can't even handle it. It's so good that you don't want to have any more, right? <laughs> yeah. There are people starving. A good point. In the world. And you know what? You know what they shouldn't eat? That. They should not eat that this either. This tastes like something though that I've had recently. What does it taste like? Oh, you know what? It have you like, ever licked a it, wall before? No, it uh, tastes like an English muffin. But like, you know. What? If you don't toast it yet. You... It tastes like an English muffin. It's so porous. It needs, if it had some butter and jam. Okay, so I brought some butter and jam because I didn't think it was fair last time. Can I ask how you eat an English muffin? Do you take a bite of it and then spit it out? Well, I usually toast it, asshole. Oh, I see, asshole. If I took a bite of it normal, yeah, I would. Have you ever tried an English muffin <coughs> normal? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's not great. It's disgusting, right? It's not disgusting, though. It's not something that's like, I need to spit out. This tastes just like the English muffin that I had. I, I like covering it with jam and butter. <laughs> <laughs> also, this bread's cold. Maybe it should be warmed. Whatever. <laughs> Is that hitting the spot? <laughs> that's the kids. That, right that's what's up, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what everyone's missing out on. Yeah. I think it's the texture for me. Hey, when is bread month over? You know, at first bite, it tastes okay, and then the texture is like... <laughs> It was like eating a sponge and it kind of makes me want to, it just makes me want to puke. It's really not good. But look, it is like eating a sponge. It's like eating a wet sponge. Yeah. It turned green. Oh, sponges are green too. There you go. Maybe that's It's like one. eating Maybe a scotch it, guard. A sponge. You know how it turned green? How? The, the sunflower butter reacts with baking soda and vinegar in this such a way. Wasn't well, that something? So. so cool. Maybe people yeah. should use it to, well, to paint their house. All I can tell you is Taste of Tuesday, uh, sometimes it works. It's, that's, it's in the title, it's a disclaimer right there in the opening sequence of the every episode. So, What um, kind of bread are you making next week? I submit that you change, the bread. you change it to the bread show. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I guess it wasn't tasty, but subscribe if you don't miss any of this. I make a lot of bread, so. Yeah, there's a lot of bread being made around here. Uh, and you don't want to miss it, to be honest. No. Because you don't know what kind of bread's gonna happen next. There you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Is there a spring break bread? We're gonna find out. <laughs>